What's up guys, Andrew here on my channel Gear Inc. where I get to share what I'm passionate about with you. And on my channel, that's PC Tech, Games, and Gear. If you haven't already, enter the Kraken headset giveaway from Razer. This is a giveaway we're doing to basically build awareness about a stream I'm going to be doing this weekend for autism. So make sure you check it out. The actual giveaway for the headset is going to be going on for a couple weeks because it's also to plug the sponsor of the giveaway, um, Sisson Jags, who's a Patreon of mine. So make sure you check that out. But let's talk about today's topic. So at this point, I'm starting to feel like a sheeple because all of us tech tubers have been basically uh, kind of strung along Long and we've been hoping for new information about these GPUs because there just hasn't been anything in the market to excite us. You know, Vega was kind of a bust from AMD and even though you can now start to see uh, GPU costs coming down uh, both for Nvidia and for AMD, even though AMD is still overpriced, uh, it's not like we really care. And it's not because, you know, we don't necessarily care. It's more because we're just ready for the next thing. Now, in terms of everything in here, I'm gonna put a big rumor stamp on this because not everything in here is confirmed. This is kind of just a collection of rumors. Some of the information is true, some of it's not. So it's easier to do it this way than pick apart every little thing. So the first thing we know for sure is that Samsung has begun manufacturing their next gen of memory, which supposedly is going to be used in these next gen GPUs. Uh, the three biggest memory manufacturers in the world that control about 98% of the market have been sued. Now the story for this broke as early um, as May of this year, so about a month and a half ago. But we got some updated numbers on what basically the Chinese government, which is accusing them of collusion and price fixing is trying to get out of them, which is to the tune of about $8 billion. Now, this could go one of two ways. Either the crackdown will force these manufacturers to basically reduce the cost of memory, which would be great for the consumer space as we have been over, uh, you know, priced for RAM uh, specifically in the PC market, or those companies will pass on the buck basically to us, meaning that we're all gonna have to pay more because they're gonna have to come up with the money to pay these fines. So I don't know which way this is gonna roll out, but it's something we all need to keep an eye out for because we could be see memory going down or we could be seeing the cost of memory going up. Now the next thing that we do know in terms of uh, just kind of the information coming out is that we uh, supposedly are going to see add and board partners getting a hold of these GPUs are coming out in September. There have been rumors that that means that Nvidia is going to be releasing the founder editions as early at the end of next month. Specifically, um, Gamer Meld, which is a YouTuber I personally enjoy, says that he's got some inside track basically saying that July 30th is when they're going to be released, but there's no source cited on there. So again, just a rumor, we'll have to wait and see. But it's a good bet that we will be seeing these GPUs come out sometime in the next few months. Now, outside of that, this uh, picture basically hit Reddit just the other day, and it's supposedly an overlook of the next gen GPUs. Now this would be kind of a test model. This wouldn't be a finished product. You have eight pin, uh, three eight pin power connectors. You can see obviously it's pretty rough and then it gives an idea of memory, 12 gig, uh, gigabytes and then 382 bit. However, um, this was posted or at least I found it through WCCF Tech and uh, they are obviously a rumor based website for the most part. And then when I went to look more into it and the actual Reddit user Dustin Brooks, the account has been deleted. So either that means that Dustin leaked this image knowing it was true and then deleted the account because he didn't want to face repercussion or it's totally BS. So we don't know for sure if we're even looking at a next gen uh, PCB. We'll have to wait and see. But basically guys, it's looking like things are starting to come together um, for these next gen GPUs and I hope that they do. We've all been kind of in a weird place where it, a lot of people have been waiting to buy um, GPUs from Nvidia because either they want the cost to go down because the next gen releases or we're just waiting for the next gen. However, as I always say, if you need a GPU and you want to get into gaming, buy the very best thing you can afford right now and don't worry so much about it. I think, again, we all get kind of brought up in the hype, and so we want to buy the newest thing out at all times, when realistically, what most of us have is usually good enough. So, anyway, guys, that's just kind of a quick summary of everything we know about these next GPUs coming out. If you like this video, go ahead and leave me a big thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and leave me a thumbs down, but get subscribed to the channel, guys. I've experienced massive growth this year, and it's only been possible because all of my subscribers um, and supporters, and you know that I care about all of you guys. I do my best to interact with you, so leave me a comment. I'll make sure to read it and try to comment you back. Uh, thanks, as always, to my Patreon supporters, my Twitch subscribers, everyone who uses my Amazon affiliate link, and everyone who buys anything through my merchandise store. I can't tell you how much all of you guys have made my channel a reality. I'm going to continue to release these videos, whether you watch them or not, but I hope to see every single one of you next time here on Gear Inc.